Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have you here. I'm here with a look into the water signs as Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio and we're looking into May the 6th and May the 7th is 2023. Make sure that you do check out all of my platforms because I do messages on all of them to bring you even more messages. Okay, so right now um, I have a message over here on YouTube on this message, but I also be doing messages on TikTok and Instagram. So definitely take a look over there as well. And I'll put the links and all to everything down below. Okay, but anyway, here, Water Signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and jump into this message and see what we have right here for you. This is um, May the 6th and May the 7th is 2023. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, so we have Mother Healing. This came up with somebody else. I think it was um, Fire. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let me see. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right. This came up with somebody else. Let me see what here. Yeah, I think these same two cards came out for Fire Signs right here. Okay, express your individuality right here. All right, this card right here also wants to come out for some reason. The autumn card. All right. Let's get a romance card right here. This is for um, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. All right. Yeah, when I say autumn, I feel like odd. Something's odd. I don't know. Could be odd in some way. Or weird or different, something like that. Okay, but yeah, these two cards they definitely came out for um fire, so you could be definitely dealing with fire sign for some people here. But these cards right here, these two cards they came out for the fire signs. I think it was fire. Okay, maybe you have fire in your chart or something like that. But anyway, all right, let's see what's going on. So mother healing it says as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires they manifest more rapidly and they manifest right here more accurately. Okay, let's see what we have here. This is mother healing. This is uh, water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mother healing. So I'm here like transaction dispute or some disputes. I'm here like review. Okay, what's going on here? Page of swords right here. Yeah. So somebody could be spying right here or, you know. Like somebody's spying on your mother or you're spying on your mother. So that right here with this one. Okay, you could be the mother. So when I say your mother, this, this mother card could be you're the mother, your grandmother, your stepmother, somebody else's mother. Okay, but that's what I'm getting here. Somebody's spying on somebody's mother, I feel. Right. The magician could be a Virgo right here. All right, or a Gemini. Okay. Or some of you, you really want to find out something right here about your mother or maybe you're going to find out something right here about a mother or somebody's mother right here. Now with the magician card right here, the tower right there, maybe you're going to figure it out. You're going to figure out something here about this mother. I feel like you're going to tap in and figure this out right here about the mother for some people right here. All right. Um, it could have something to do with a magic spell. But the magician also could represent just being consciously aware beside this tower. So I feel like beside the tower, you are going to figure out something right here about a mother or you're the mother. Something like that right here. Okay. Okay. Six of coins reversed and the king of swords is reversed. Wow. Okay. Or some of you right here, something that your mother was saying was true. Or this is you, you're the mother. Okay. King of Swords is reverse. I don't like the energy. This tell you the truth. Okay. This says authoritarian. Okay. So somebody here really wants to control something right here. Or they could be a narcissist. All right. Even could be somebody here is emotional about your mother or the Gemini or a magic spell or something like that. Okay. Six of coins right here is reverse. I mean, like, you're going to get an understanding that the mother was mad at them or you or something like that. Six of coins reverse. Somebody still have strings attached to this mother in some type of way or to you. Something like that. The higher point right here. It could be somebody they married to. Or this is a Taurus right here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. King of Swords is reversed over here. 
Okay. I'm like, they have evil intentions right here, King of Swords Reverse. Okay. So I feel like, I feel like you're wondering, did this person really have evil intentions towards the mother or to the King of Swords Reverse or religion or something like that? I'm like, you're going to figure out if they do or not, something like that. I'm like, you're going to, you're about to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, this could be a Virgo. I feel like you're really going to figure this out right here. All right. With this one right here. It says spiritual mastery or the Virgo figured it out. Something like that. Or the Taurus or this is about religion. Something like that right here. Okay. I feel like you're going to tap in and figure out something right here about the Virgo, the Taurus right here. All right. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or a wife or a mother. Even a magic spell. Something like that. Or why somebody doesn't have money. Something like that. Okay. Because I feel like with a Knight of Coins, you really are going to figure this out. Okay. In some type of way. It could be why you're connected to nature. I don't know why the first thought I was getting like somebody smoking. I'm like, they figure out when they're smoking or something like that. I don't know. It doesn't have to be the case. But some reason I was getting it. Okay. So, um, three of Wands right here and the Queen of Coins. Because I'm going to like, somebody's obsessed with your mother or something like that, okay? If it's not your mother, somebody else's mother, okay? But you could be the mother. But I feel like somebody's obsessed here, and for some people here, they wanted somebody to marry them or they want to be intimate right here with somebody's mother, okay? What's the King of Swords reverse? Let me see what's going on here, okay? King of Swords right here reverse. Because I feel like somebody finds you very attractive or the mother, okay? What's the King of Swords reverse? Look like they want to control them or something like that. Yeah, two of wands right here. Yeah. Somebody wants to control somebody here, I feel, okay? The two of wands right here is charting a course. It's like at a fork in the road, yes or no, wrong or right. What's the king of schools reverse? The lovers right here. Somebody's obsessed with your mother. Or whoever this is. Okay, they're obsessed with them. Whoever they are, it could be a Gemini. Okay, the lover's card right here. They want a union with somebody over here. They want somebody to marry them or they want to have sex with them. And I'm getting like, with the King of Swords Reverse, I'm not sure their intentions, though, is the best intentions, though, with the King of Swords Reverse. What's the King of Swords right here, Reverse? You have three of Cups right here. This it could be somebody wants to reconcile right here. And be intimate with somebody here or some way. So you're going to get a new perspective if this is true or not. This period, okay? So I feel like you are with the hanging man right here. You're going to definitely look at that right here. You're going to see if this is actually true or not. I feel like with the tower, it's going to be revealed to you if something here is true or not. If somebody does have evil plans, if somebody here um want to marry somebody here or something like that. Uh, if they was doing a magic spell, something like that is going to be revealed. I feel, I feel like it was a mystery until now. And now it will be revealed in some way. Okay. Yeah, I'm hearing bombshell. I'm gonna, like, you're going to figure out if it is or not. Okay. Something like that. Okay. Because I feel like you wasn't able to see this before in some way. Okay. So, this tower looking card. Right. And it says right here that life difficulties are called to consciousness. A grace inspired event that challenges us to reach beyond limited thinking. So I just feel like you're about to go further or deeper into something right here. Something's going to be a tower. This always look like a tower. Like some realization right here, okay, is a tower right here. All right. All right. Or now that some life difficulty is here in some type of way, then you get an understanding about something. It could be if this mother healing situation... It could be another child's mother. Okay, let's say, for instance, your child's mother and then another child's mother. They still in love with somebody here. Could be the case. That could be what somebody realized. This imagination card right here. That a swords right here. Ace of swords. So with this tower looking card, you're coming out of the dark. I feel about something right here. 
Because I feel like you was left out in the cold about some energy or something here you didn't see or know right here about. It looks like it's a mother, but it could be anybody. But I'm getting like this awareness and like Ace of Swords card is what you will see the truth about something like that right here. Okay. So, and this is like a tower. It's like this information or this knowledge or now that something has happened, it makes you realize that something here is, is whatever is going on here. Okay. Um... But you will be aware, it says awareness and light, Ace of Swords. You will be aware about something you was left out in the court about. I feel like it has to do with a mother or somebody over here that's obsessed or something like that. What else is going on here? Because I feel like somebody's mother is obsessed, okay? doesn't have to be your mother, okay? Could be Aquarius, some people right here. So if I know something about the dead mother, period, okay? There's even somebody obsessed with the mother or the mother is. Something like that. I go play games with somebody right here, okay? The star card right here could be Aquarius right here. Somebody was wishing for something over here, okay? Or your wish is coming true to see what you was left out in the court about. Or this Aquarius is left out in the cold or something, okay? <laughs> so this could be too hard with a Leo or the Aquarius, something like that. Okay, the ten of wands is a struggle, heavy burden right here in some way, right? I'm getting like, yeah. Some truth is coming to you right now, V. Okay, the sun and the star, best cards in tarot. This even could be somebody really does feel like your mother or you or whoever. It's the best thing that ever happened to them. Somebody thinks that, V. They feel left on the cold from them or something like that. Three of coins right here. Nine of Cups. So you're about to be aware. Period. Okay. So I feel like you're about to be aware of, of something here that's going on here. Okay. I feel like it was in the it was in the dark. You couldn't see it before. Awareness and light is going to be revealed right here. All right. And then even with the other one there, right here, dark to light. Okay. So I feel like. You're about to see right here, okay? It says timing when, the next few days, a few days timing right here, right? Is when you're going to see right here that somebody feels left out in the cold right here, all right? Um, they really want to be with you or whoever they want to be with over here, okay? Three of coins right here. They want to be in some situation or to be with you, all right? Okay? Eva, Eva could be right here. There's two children's mothers here. I'm getting the other child's mother feel left out for some people here, some way. That's gonna be revealed now. I'm feeling something like that is gonna be revealed right here about the other child mother or something like that. Okay, um, or somebody's mother in some way. But it says nine of cups right here and um, the nine of swords. Somebody's having anxiety right here because they wish for you and they feel left out in some way. Somebody does here. Okay, this could be a third party for some people right here, right. Or somebody want to work together with you. Once again, this made me feel like the other child's mother. I feel like it's two children's mother here. That's who is spying or something. Or they're in their feelings or something like that. Okay. Alright. Or somebody does have another child's mother. They, that's, that could be realized right now. Okay. For some people here. All right, express your individuality. It says allow your true self to shine right here because you're awesome. Okay. Yeah, this, this reading kind of resonates with the reading I did on TikTok for water signs. But, yeah, because I was getting on that one like somebody's about to show up or something like that. But Queen of Swords reverse. Wow. <laughs> Look, we got these energies in reverse right here, okay? Would you look at that? King of Swords is reversed. Queen of Swords reverse. That is definitely not the best energies I'm getting right here in reverse. King of Swords reverse could be rude or tyrant, mean, or something like that, right? Somebody's going to see that about them. All right. Queen of Swords reverse right here. Could be very um, argumentative. It also could be right here. Something here is going to be hell. It's like hell to pay for something right here. It's a type of way. Somebody pissed you off. It's hell to pay for it then. Something like that, right? Or um, they're evil or something like that. I don't know, okay? But it's not the best energy. I do, I do know that. It's not the best energy right here, okay? What's your message right here? Expression energy. Okay. 
It says right here, making progress one or two weeks right here. A waxing moon right here. So, you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing what she's saying. You know you that when you cause all this conversation. <laughs> You know you that when you cause all this commotion, a tower, somebody and their feelings or something like that. So something like that could be going on. This could be an Aries right here or a father, something like that. Okay. Okay. I'm getting like somebody's pissed off right here, water signs, okay? Either they was left out in the cold or ghosted or something. That's what I was getting on TikTok to. They was ghosted or something like that. I'm getting right here, okay? Somebody's pissed off over here and over here too. So, or somebody feels like they was evil to them, so they're going to be evil to them. Something like that. And it, it just doesn't look good. I'm getting like the next two days or a few days to two weeks or something like that. Yeah, two of swords right here is reverse. See? Attention, red flag is right there, okay? So, somebody has the clarity about something like that is going on here, okay? Or somebody knows that somebody here doesn't give a damn or something like that. I'm getting something like that. They don't give a damn about something like that. Okay. What's wrong with them or something like that? Because <laughs> I'm getting like, you're healing. You don't give a damn about something right here. There could be all their feelings over here about something like that. Okay. But somebody over here, right? Yeah, somebody has to accept right here that somebody here is going to be pissed off about something here, I feel. They are, okay? This definitely could be a relationship. Maybe they find out you're in a relationship. They could be pissed off about it. The people right here, okay? Maybe they they seeing right here that you're healing or they want to heal something right here with you. Or if you're not invested in them, they're going to be pissed off about it for some people here, okay? This could be um a husband right here. So I'm, I'm just getting like the next two weeks or something. This husband is pissed off or the wife or somebody is. Okay. Because somebody's ghosting them or, you know, you're the best thing that ever happened to them or something like that. You could be expressing yourself in some type of way. Makeup right here. Um, beauty, fashion, something like that. Okay. So somebody knows you don't give a damn about something here. Okay. And they kind of feel some type, some type of way I feel about it. Okay. I'm getting like definitely in the fall season. They're really going to be pissed off. I feel like it's start now or something. But this one right here, it says in the fall season, everything comes together and you reap harvests of abundance right here in the fall season. Okay. So let's see here. What's this all about? Yeah. Yes. The devil part is here. So this, this situation, I'm getting like, you know, <laughs> this person, you know, they, they still love the mother or the other mother loves them or something. Drama. I'm getting right here. Could be a Capricorn right here. But somebody still has strings attached right here. Or well, somebody still codependent or something like that. Okay. In the fall season right here. All right. High priestess right here. Okay. This even could be letting you know something's going on here in the fall season in some way. Somebody could be obsessed with you or um, the mother or the other child's mother or something like that. It could be the other child's father, but I'm seeing a mother here, okay? So, the new beginning. See, somebody here wants a new beginning right here with you. I'm getting, okay, in the fall season. I feel like it's going to be happening in the fall. Yeah. Because some rewards could be coming to you in the fall season for some people right here. Okay. So, I have a Virgo and a Capricorn over here. I just, I feel like this could be a warning, okay? And I don't want to sound, you know, any kind of way, like cliche or anything, but I'm getting like something here could be a warning, okay? About something here that's happening in the fall season for some people here, all right? Somebody, I'm getting like, they're pissed off in the fall for some people right here, okay? Either because you're single or there's some rewards coming for you in the fall. And with a devil card right here and the upright and the ace of pentacles right here, I feel like somebody's jealous because some money's coming to you in the fall for some people here. Okay. And it just looks really drama filled right here. Night of Wands right here. Yeah. Okay. Or you have a new love in the fall. Something like that. Maybe you're pregnant in the fall. 
somebody still can want to hold on to you in the fall to get my hair it's pretty they're gonna want to okay and this is definitely a water sign for some people here but yeah they're not giving up they still want to hold on to you for some people here it's in the fall season i feel or well, in the fall season i got some drama here with the devil card right there i feel like somebody's lusting or somebody's seriously mad in the fall season right here okay i feel like they either want to have a child or they had a child with you or with the other mother or something like that right here okay the empress and the devil all right it could be somebody's obsessed with somebody's mother it doesn't have to be a child's mother it could be somebody's mother somebody's obsessed with them i'm getting right here in the fall season or something Okay, because some something's a missed opportunity. They still want to hold on to them. Okay, yeah. So somebody has to accept right here. I'm gonna pull a card on a devil because I don't like the energy. Okay, choose your battles right here. Nine of Wands reverse. I feel like you're letting go of something in the fall season, and somebody really feels some type of way right here. They could be obsessed, or because they was obsessed with the mother, or with you. What's the devil right here in the Empress? It could be a narcissist. The trait right here, strength of will. Okay. Yeah, because I'm getting ready for some people here. Somebody got pregnant in the fall season or they having a child in the fall season. Could be a Cancer right here or Capricorn or Taurus or Libra, something like that. What else is going on here? Yeah, these fours is over here, though. So I feel like you are protected, though. Um, but I do feel like they're going to be really pissed off or something like that. Or here's another thing the fours could say. The fours could say right here to pay attention to your surroundings, okay? Because I got these fours right here. All right. Now, 444 four, four is a number of being protected. Okay. So, I feel like you're protected about all this. But this even could be going on behind the scenes of somebody here. I don't know. <laughs> but 444 four, four, protected right here. Okay. Why is that devil card right here for water signs? Let me see why is that devil card right here. Okay. Yeah. So you're protected. That's what I'm getting here. This could have all been already going on for some people here. And I'm getting like, for some of you, you didn't even see this was going on. And that's what the epiphany is about now. That somebody was obsessed with your mother or with you. Something like that. They was. And I'm getting like, with this lunar eclipse, it's going to eclipse out this obsession that somebody was having right here. Okay. So it's going to eclipse it out. Give us some time. Three months right here. I'm getting like in the fall. So right now where we in May, June, July, August, the end of August going to September is when I feel like the three months is up. Somebody's eclipsing something out. I feel like the lunar eclipse is eclipsing out this person over here that's obsessed with, with you or the other mother or something like that. Okay. What is is it safe for, for you to love, right? It's safe for you to love card right here. Five of Swords right here. Yeah. So I'm just getting like, for some of you, it's like unbeknownst to you. The universe was working behind the scenes of, about this whole situation. So some of you didn't know it was even going on. I'm getting for some people here. But I'm getting like somebody was definitely obsessed with you or your mother or somebody's mother here. Some people here. Find the light within right here. So I feel like you're intuitive right here. Okay. With the winter solstice card, and it says a year or more. So there's some game for some of you. Something here, somebody was obsessed with somebody here for a whole year. Okay. Yeah, and I feel like something here is an unwelcome change now. Five of Cups, or somebody's in regret right here. Well, they've been in, in regret for a whole year for some people right here. Page of Coins reverse. No follow through. Okay. Maybe somebody here, they've been in regret for a whole year or they didn't do something for a whole year or somebody's pissed off because they've been waiting to be with you or with the child's mother or with the second child's mother or something like that for a whole year. So I'm getting like they're remembering the past right now, six of cups. Somebody's remembering the past or for a whole year they've been thinking about you. Okay. This could be a Leo or Virgo right here. They've been wanting the Leo or Virgo for a whole year for some people here. <laughs> Okay. And I'm just getting like you're beautiful and everything right there. So somebody's been focused upon somebody here for a whole year. I feel like it's a secret. They were still in love with them or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Eight of Swords. 
I feel because I feel like somebody be saying threatening words like I will do something to you or to your tire or something like that. Okay, Queen of Wands right here and the Eight of Coins. All right. Or somebody could be obsessed because you look so, so beautiful or the other mother or you're the mother that looks beautiful. Something about beauty is right here. Somebody's like super gorgeous or something like that. All right. There also could be like somebody here wants to be with you, but you were super gorgeous. Okay. Disconnected family right here. Right. But something like you're so gorgeous. Somebody feels like you're perfect right here in some way. Right. Okay. And the wheel of fortune right here. And this wheel of fortune right here is fate. It's destiny right here. Okay. Somebody here could be stuck because they've been waiting on you. They've been waiting to have a family with you. But for some of you, you, you chose the other mother or this is your child's mother. So put it in. And we're going to end it right here, okay? So look at that 888. Eight, eight. Yeah, 8, 8, and 8. It's right here, okay? 8 of cups, 8 of swords, and 8 of coins right here. Something here could be about money, okay? Something could be changing about money in some way, all right? Or somebody was waiting over here for you, but you left because they have money or something, could be in the case. Okay, the full card right here and the justice right here. It can go the opposite way around. This had to be you. It could be them. But justice right here in the full, right? So this could be Aries right here or Libra. All right? Somebody even could be an illusion in some way. Okay? Because the moon card could be an illusion. Okay? I just keep hearing... You know you that when you cause all this conversation, something like that, <laughs> something like that. Okay, like some drama that's going on here. Okay, so the ten of swords right here, the seven of coins right here. See, somebody here either feel betrayed because you moved on with somebody because they have money, or somebody want to be with you because money. All right, they or a pregnancy. Okay, somebody something something like that. Okay, I'm trying to end this reading, but it just keep on looking at that another eight. I'm like something here is big time wealth and money. All right. Somebody here that was pregnant by somebody knows that it's over or you chose somebody else because money or something like that. Okay. One more right here and I'm ending it right here. All right. Let's see. We have Ace of Cups right there. All right. You might have a new house right here, but somebody's reflecting right here about how somebody here was still holding on to something here. I feel for some people here. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. I'm going to end it right there. Okay. Thank you so much for tuning to this message. I say you all peace, blessings, love, and light. Namaste to all of you.